New spring limited edition guitars from Taylor in some stunning new colors. We're going to tell you all about it, so stay tuned. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas, and you can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications, and click that like button. If you want to support the channel, visit our spring store link below for custom swag, and check out our podcast, The Fretboard Confessional, wherever you get your podcasts. So, stunning colors in some Taylor 200 series and a 100 series we're going to show you today. Part of a limited run that they have uh, just sent to us. So as you are seeing these, these should be available. Um, very cool 200 series and 100 series guitars um, in some colors. Now, they've done stuff like this before, although the one I'm holding I think is unique. Yeah. Some unique specs in addition to the colors on the 214 that you're holding and the other one that, that we're going to show. Uh, some, some cool stuff to, to offer, yeah. basically. Now that one is a 214 CE Deluxe. CE Deluxe Limited. Transparent blue? It says transparent blue. I think it should be called denim because this is an interesting blue. Yeah. It looks like sh deeper and more washed out in certain areas. Effectively, it's it's a very thin like finish that yeah. is moving with the grain of the wood. Yeah. And so to me, well, Josh said it to me earlier. It looks like my jeans. Yeah. It's a denim blue. Yeah, I like it. Um, I mean, the these are both two 214 C Deluxe. C 214C Deluxe have been like some of the biggest sellers. Everybody loves them because they come with the hard shell case, mm -hmm. but everybody likes the 200 series. And I think they have gotten away from the cool color stuff like for such a long time. Yeah. You know, I remember getting those, the catalogs with all the wild colors and then seeing like Taylor Swift playing on some weird stuff. Yeah. And I don't know why they haven't done them in a while, but these do kind of feel somewhat throwbacky to me, you know. Yeah, and it's interesting because it's 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 a throwback to those colors but with some differences. Like yeah. the top is transparent blue, the back and sides and neck are black. So literally it's a black and blue guitar and you haven't even dropped it yet. Boom. Ba -dum -boom. Relic. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I love the satin black. Satin neck. black. It's fantastic. Black tuners. It's very much a very cool stage looking guitar. Mm -hmm. It's complemented, I think, by the crisp white binding. Um, the gloss finish, of course, since it's a deluxe model, you've got the slotted uh, diamond inlays on the fingerboard um, and that Italian acrylic oh, yeah. uh, rosette, which is uh, very nice, particularly. That's a spicy a rosette. That's a spicy a rosette, you know what I mean? So. That's the transparent blue. My favorite color. This is interesting. This one is definitely not a throwback. This is not a throwback. This is the one that caught my eye first uh, when I got to see photos of them. I think this one is the coolest one for me. The kind of gray, transparent yeah. gray. Transparent finish. gray. So you still have the same specs as the blue otherwise. Mm -hmm. So you have black back and sides, satin black neck, you got the black tuners, same inlay, same Italian acrylic. Uh, you know, rosette, yeah. crisp bright binding, but yeah, this transparent gray top, which is very different. And I've been, I mean, I really like the black top stuff, the GTE black yeah. top, um, and you know, they make a 214C black, but something about being able to see the grain through it, I mm -hmm. think makes it a little bit cooler. Um, and this is a 214, the blue one was a 214, that is not a 214. This is a 224. Before I tell about the specs on this though, both of those have something unique about them in their construction. So we can't tell from the back and sides because they're black, but they are maple back and sides. The top is Lutz spruce. It's not Sitka spruce, it's Lutz spruce, which if you have followed Taylor for a while, they're the first main big manufacturer to use it. It was on their 700 series for mm -hmm. years. It is a naturally occurring hybrid spruce between what would typically be Sitka and Adirondack, creating a different species. And Taylor says Lutz, and that's wrong, because I met the family of the guy who, who found it and named the tree after him, and their last name is Lutz. So there you go. And I like the way it sounds. Lutz spruce is like spruce goose. You know? Puss in boots. There you go. So, um, so yeah, so a Lutz spruce top. And now what that means, and what I've encountered with this top, is that it is it has a little bit more base to it mm -hmm. than Sitka does. It's not as rigid and loud as Adirondack. It's a nice in between between the two. Um, and I really like it as a tone would. So yeah. I'm like, I like seeing it pop back up on these models. Yeah, it's cool. So. Um, yeah, it's just kind of a unique thing. I don't think a lot of people would know right off the top that it's Lutz, but oh, yeah, I mean, is, it's an upgrade. You wouldn't right? know unless I told you, exactly. but I did. 
So now you know. You can't look at it and tell because... Unless you have a really keen eye. Yeah, get keener. And then you go, you know that denim top? That's Lutz. That's my Lutz, dude. Lutz denim. If you're not into a spruce top, but you want a cool color. That could be a great jean brand, actually. Working hard on the ranch, get some Lutz denim. Lutz and boots. Dude. Lutz and boots. That's our <laughs> uniform. This one is not a 214. So this is a 224 CE Deluxe in my favorite color, which is red. Um, and we were talking right before we started filming, and I'm not 100% sure, but this has a mahogany top with layered uh, sepele back and sides. All these are layered back and side, uh, solid top. And we think this is the first time they've used mahogany on a top in a 200 series. I have not seen one, so. Yeah, I don't. I'm the end all be all. I comes, don't recall, so, yeah. and you know, I, I know a lot, I've forgotten more about guitars than most people know. Um, and I don't ever recall seeing one. Yeah. There might have been one, so. But if not, here you go. So it is mahogany topped, uh, layered sepalier back and sides in this beautiful red with this dark binding that is just, I like red and black. It's yeah. Kind of favorite color combination of mine. Um, and otherwise, you know, all of the traditional appointments. So gloss body, you've got the slotted diamond uh, inlays, black tuners. It's just, this is a really nice looking guitar. I like That's why that I chose to hold it. Satin neck on that one, which it just looks cool. Yeah, and the red. Also. You can see some of the figuring in it. It's I heard y'all saying this earlier, but if you're playing in a rocking band and you got a Heritage Cherry SG, mm -hmm. get something to match it. Yeah, it, it very much looks like that. Yeah. And I had to hold it because I was told by a viewer that I look good in red. So there you go. I look good in red or with red. It was Candy commenting? Was it your I wife? I yeah. occasionally pay my wife to put nice yeah. comments on YouTube too. I mean, we inflate, all do it. Inflate my ego. <laughs> We've all it's done it. It's what's done. Yeah. Um, you know, if we really want to be uh, like take seriously YouTubers, we'll release our own energy drink. <laughs> yeah, we need to do that. <laughs> um, Boom, there we go. This is your 100 series uh, entry into these cool limiteds. And this is not entirely new. They've done this before. It's yeah. been a while. So it's basically back to uh, something. And they're not calling this a limited. They're calling it a special edition. So 114 CE, layered walnut back and sides, solid Sitka spruce top. There's no lutes here. Um, and it's in this beautiful sunburst finish with a maple neck that they have tinted. Which I, I like think, the tint. I, I think do it's cool. too. I think the really stark white maple would not look. Yeah, right. and sometimes like, I mean that looks really pretty. Yeah. But so, if it was the really stark white maple, it kind of looks a little jarring. Yeah. But this, I mean, it fits well because these are definitely different colors, but they kind of all fit within this burst, and it's it's a example of when different colors of wood all kind of work together. Yeah. Um, it's a great overall aesthetic that really ties things together. Unlike some PRS private stock when you're just throwing crazy woods out there and you don't <laughs> care how it looks. Um, no, but yeah, this is very cool. And they've been doing a lot of cool stuff with bursts recently, like all different types of stuff. You got the classic tobacco sunburst stuff. What, what do they call this burst, do you know? Um, I don't recall off the top of my head. It's, we it, come up with a name then. Uh, caramel Burst. That's a Caramel Burst. It looks like the Caramel it Burst. It does kind of look... The caramel Burst was a little more red. This is kind of a deserty sand kind of thing. We'll call it Desert Burst. That's a Desert Burst. Desert Caramel, <laughs> I think, is what I know it has a name. It. Yeah. But it's not Tobacco Burst. That would be darker. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's a really nice burst. It's really subtle. I like... So, Taylor and Gibson do a really good job with bursts where mm -hmm. there should be like this nice gradual mm -hmm. back and forth between the colors. Some companies do bursts and it looks really not great. It looks like a Microsoft Paint gradient that you plug in colors and just put it on just there. Just puts it on. But I kind of like too, some of those old school bursts, it's a really focused kind of in this area, not so much here. Yeah. So I think this is a little bit of a... Teardrop burst. Yeah, kind of an old school vibe, which I think is cool. And also 114 incredibly popular so they kind of chose yeah uh, they well, chose this was the, gone for a while we should actually yeah. mention that yeah the 114 ce was gone from the lineup for a good bit yeah and then they finally brought it back you went from a 114 e to a 214 ce if you wanted a cutaway yeah and there was, was nothing in between so good yeah. call to bring it back for sure well i put these through their paces and you know in this particular case we've got four guitars i just played a little something on each guitar to highlight uh to highlight what uh, what I'm doing or, or what 
the guitars are offering. Um, on the mahogany top, I did choose to play blues because I like that on mahogany, so take a listen. So there you have it. These are limited edition guitars from Taylor. Uh, we don't necessarily know how many will be available uh, right now, but if you are interested, you should go to our website, which is? It's alamomusic.com, all right? And we did get a handful of each of these um, that should be ready to go. Mm -hmm. But if we run out, like Chris said, there might be a possibility we can get more, but yeah. you have to let us know that you're interested. Yeah, there's so no num know. they're not numbered in series. Um, but you know, they tend to do these during a particular production window. Um, and then once that window closes, there are no more. Who's to say? Yeah. I do want to ask you one question about the two fourteens in particular. Mm -hmm. Do you think that Lutz versus Sitka on layered back and sides, since you said it has a little more of that bass response, would you prefer that to a normal Sitka? Or do you think it's just a different player? Um, yeah, I don't know if I'd say prefer. I do think it is different. Um, it's kind of like, you know, when they had it on the 700 series versus the 800 series. I remember a long time ago, um, I shot a video when those first came out. God, geez, I think this is before V-Class Bracing. Yeah. You know, we compared an 814 and a 714. And you could, you could tell the kind of tonal response. And 
I would say, depending upon what I was playing, uh, more, you know, typically, I would probably prefer the 714 over the 814 or the 814 over the yeah. 714 because of that additional base response. Mm -hmm. I really was a fan of that. Um, but it depends upon what you're playing. You know, yeah. people say, what's better? Yeah, it depends. You tell me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Sitka's such a great wood. That's why it's on so many things. Um, and in fact, I, I will say this. I saw a video recently with Michael Greenfield, who's a mm -hmm. fantastic luthier in Canada. Greenfield guitars, you should check them out um, and bring your checkbook. But uh, really expensive, fantastic guitars. And he was talking about how like he's not even really differentiating between spruces much anymore. You know, uh, I mean, yeah. there there are differences, and there are yeah. beautiful. He said that, and then went on to talk about some beautiful alpine spruce. But um, <laughs> you know, a lot of it's in what the builder's doing with it, and there's very subtle nuances. You yeah. know, and so I like lutes. I think some people could really appreciate it. I don't know that everyone would hear the difference. Yeah. So. Well, it's and the good thing about the 200 series, especially, is there's a bunch of options. Usually, they do some very cool limiteds, and we see it with different back and sides, you know, mm -hmm. quilted sapelo, whatever. But I do think it's cool. They're switching up the tops, you know, get a mahogany top or get a lutes top. And just, they're just having fun. You know they're having saying? fun using the resources. And, you know, we should say these are made in Mexico uh, in their plant that's, what, 60 miles away from the El Cajon USA factory. Um, I have never encountered a single one of these, including my GS Mini, mm -hmm. um, that has any uh, downside to it. Like, yeah. you really can't tell from a build standpoint. Yeah. Um, they are made just as well. And these come with a great hard shell case, yeah. you know, and the pickup system. So if you're looking for something flashy on the stage, um, these will probably suit that need. Yeah, it's a great road gigging guitar. You don't have to worry too much about it, but it's going to look fancy pants, you know. Fancy pants? Yeah. There you go. That's the title of this video. Fancy Pants Guitars. If you're new to our channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and like our videos. And we will see you next time.